So welcome to today's video. So today I want to talk about something that's really, really important. Now I hear lots of people saying, I just don't have the time in the day. I don't know where the time goes. There's not enough hours in the day. Have you ever heard yourself saying that? Have you ever faced this challenge? Well, I know I used to. So how can you get around this? How can you get around managing time? Well, here's the thing. I, I heard Bob Proctor say once, like he spoke to his mentor, old Nightingale, and uh, so Bob says to Earl, I think it's something like, you know, how, how do you manage time? How do you manage your time? And Earl said something along the lines that manage time. You don't manage time. You manage the activity within the time. And I'm like, you know, that is so true. You know, we can't manage time, right? Time cannot be managed because you've got fixed hours, you've got fixed minutes, you've got fixed um, hours, minutes and seconds, whatever, right? But so you can't manage that. The only thing that you can manage within that time is how productive you are. So everybody has the same 24 hours in the day. You look at some of the highest producers, some of the people, the wealthiest people in the world, like Bill Gates, uh, um, all of those Elon Musk. Uh, what's the other dude? The old dude. Um, you know, the old dude, the old dude. Come on. Warren Buffett. That's his name. I always, I always lose his name. So they all have 24 hours in the day. You and I have 24 hours in a day. Everybody has 24 hours in a day. There's no one else in the world that has 26 hours in a day because it just doesn't work that way. So how can we get more productive? How can we actually earn more whilst working less? This is my whole thing, right? I teach people how to work less and earn more money. Relax and attract, that's what I say. Would you like to relax and attract? Well, let me show you how. So here's the thing, we can only manage the activities that we do within our working time, whether you're working six hours a day, whether it's 12 hours a day. So we have to compress time. Now, what does time compression mean? It actually means what it says, compressing the time down. So you're compressing the time down as well as compressing your actions that you take. So being organized is really important. Now, I coach lots of different business owners. I speak to like, spoke to thousands of people over the years since I've been mentoring people. And it's how productive that we are in that period of time. So how productive are you from the minute you wake up until the minute you go to sleep? How long does it take you to get into action? I used to be like, I used to wake up and I used to get into it. I used to wake up like five, six o'clock, whatever that was, seven o'clock. And I wouldn't get into action until like 12 p.m. midday, like one o'clock. And I remember I was at um, an event with Bob Proctor at a private dinner. And I, and I said to Bob, I thought it was a valid question. And it was a valid question. Other people in the audience laughed. But I said, look, Bob, what's the first thing you do when you when you wake up? He said, get up like that. Get up. And I'm like, and everybody started laughing. They thought it was a dumb question, but they didn't really get it. What Bob meant was you get up, you get into action. Not when you wake up, what you do, you get up. You like get up, like wake up. But you actually get up and get moving. Not wait until checking out your phone, who's emailed you, going through all the stuff that doesn't matter, seeing who's liked your Facebook posts or Instagrammed, message you, DM'd, and who's like watched your profile. Oh, let me see who's watched my profile. Let me see who's watched my stories. So... You get the things done that you need to get your breakfast, get showered, get dressed, get moving, right? It's that simple, but so many people fail right there. Then at the end of the day, oh no, I haven't had time to do this, I haven't done that. People ask you, well, have you done this? Have you done that? I asked you to do this. Oh, I just didn't get enough time. There was so much to do. Well, there wasn't so much to do. You didn't do it, simple. So we've got to become more productive. So we've got to become aware on how we're moving, how productive that you are. So. Whenever you're watching this video, I want you to look back at the day. If you're watching this first thing in the morning, go back to yesterday. Ask yourself, well, how productive was I? How much did I get done? What time did I actually get moving into motion, into play? Ask yourself that. Now, we have habits as human beings. We operate habitually, right? We have habits. From the minute we wake up, we go into a, a set routine. You may look at your phone at the same time. You clean your teeth more or less at the same time. You have a shower more or less at the same time. You have a routine. If you have your breakfast after your shower, you'll always have your breakfast after your shower, probably 99% of the time, okay? If you, if you um, whatever you do, right, you have a routine. So we've got to look at our routine and understand our routine. And we've got to identify leaks in our time. Time leakage. Where is your time leaking? Where is your time going in non-productive activities now it's super important if we want to become highly productive people you know I, I hear the word um high performance person i'm a high performance person what does that actually mean being a high performance person means performing at high levels 
getting things done. Okay, if we want to become elite, if we want to be the leaders in our industry, we've got to understand that we've got to, we've got to be up and running, right? No point sitting around wasting your time. Think of the time leakages that you're having. Are you playing ping pong, ping pong on Messenger? Are you going backwards and forwards on chat with your friends when you should be at work doing stuff? Somebody's messaged you when you're like sending funny videos and you're forwarding it to somebody else and they send you another one and you know what I mean on WhatsApp? You've had it all right. Somebody sends you a picture, somebody sends you a video and it makes you laugh and you think, all right, who can I send this to? And you start sending it to five people. Before you send it to five people, they sent you another five videos back. And now you're watching each and every one of those videos and guess what? Two videos out of those five you find funny and then you forward them to somebody else. On Messenger, you post something. Ridiculous, right? So we've got to stop doing this. One thing that I do that helps me get away from this kind of stuff is that I turn off my notifications. My Messenger, my WhatsApp, um, Facebook, the Messenger notifications are turned off. I go into them if I'm expecting to message somebody or I'm expecting, I'll go into the app and check it out. But I don't have those notifications on. So um, I'd suggest that you do the same. Give this a go for 48 hours. Turn off your notifications on your phone and see how productive you become. I'll promise you one thing, you're gonna be tempted to just reload the app on your phone, say, just, just gotta see if anybody's contacted me. I've just gotta know if someone's, if I've got an inbox in there, if somebody's messaged me. So try for 48 hours, turn off those apps, whether it's, what's the other one, Telegram, Instagram, all those kind of things. Get rid of them for 48 hours. Install them once in a day, or maybe twice, just be kind to yourself, I'll give you a bit of leeway here. Install them back twice, maybe lunchtime, and maybe just in the evening. If you're, listen, if your business depends on your social media, that's cool, keep it on. I'm not telling you to like shut down your business, but most of the time, your income is not gonna be impacted directly by your apps on your phone, okay? It's not gonna be. So give yourself two times in a day when you re-log, reload, and you reply to whoever you need to reply to. And here's the other thing. When you reply to somebody else and they don't reply to you instantly back, or within five, 10 minutes, or an hour's gone by, two hours gone by, three hours gone by, a day's gone by, you think, shit, does this person not like me anymore? What's going on? And you start to think, oh shit, what have I done? Have I upset this person? Maybe they've become highly productive. Maybe they've watched this video before you have, and they've actually turned off the notifications. The craziness, right? Now, these little things make a world of difference. You might say, well, Mindy, that's a great fucking idea. That's a great idea. But implement it, and I guarantee you one thing, that you will start to like block out them time leakages and you'll become more productive, you'll be more focused, more energetic towards the um, endeavours, that is a good word, right? Endeavours, your endeavours, right? So you'll be more focused, more targeted on the actions that you should be taking. And then you'll find that you action leads to a reaction from the universe, right? Law and cause and effect. The more action you take, the more the universe can respond to those actions, right? But we've got to be, we've got to up our game. So another way you can fix your time leakage is compressed time is delegation, delegate tasks to your team. Now, if you don't have a team, I'd suggest that you hire someone. It doesn't have to be on a full-time basis. You can hire freelancers, VAs. You can go onto one of them um, freelance websites where you can hire talent for not a lot of money. And they can take away a lot of the um, tasks that you don't enjoy doing and the tasks that you shouldn't be doing. They can handle all those. Maybe you want someone to look after your inbox. Maybe you want someone to do your admin work for your accounts, whatever that is for you. Think of your business as a business. So we must invest in our business. So many people, I've seen this mistake happen so many times, is they try to be everything to everyone. Try to wear all the different hats, okay? That is gonna cause you to burn out. And you can't expand, you can't scale your business if you've got that mentality, right? Oh, but I can't afford it. Um, I don't have, the, you know, can you, can you afford not to do it? That's the question. Now you don't have to fork out a load of money, but just find someone whether it's to do your social media graphics. Maybe you're sitting there on, what's the app called, Canva is it? Or some or Photoshop or wherever you create um, a, uh, banners and um, a posts for your social media. How much time do you spend creating them? Maybe you can spend a few little dollars a month and you can find someone to batch produce them for you. Then you can also get this person to schedule out your posts so you're not sitting there wasting like three days out of the five, then you're complaining that you're not getting anything done, you're not prospecting, you're not making calls, you're not closing deals, and then you've got your email list, right? Your people emailing you, getting back to people. So learn how to compress time. Work less and earn more money. It's absolutely crucial that you learn how to do this. Now this video is probably one of the most um, powerful videos that you can watch if you want to compress your time, you want to become more productive, you want to cut the, I was say BS, but you want to cut the bullshit out of your business and get moving, get productive. That's how you grow. 
Okay, that's how you grow. You've got to invest in your business. You've got to invest into people. You've got to train your people. If you've got a team and they're not very productive and, and they're not doing the things that you want them to do, train your team. Send them on a course. Get get someone to train them. But get You're paying them, right? You're not paying them to sit around. You're paying them to be productive. So whether you train them, you look at how their day's going, you keep an eye on them so you don't let them run wild, wasting time. Take control. Be a leader. Be a control freak. Now, control freak's not a negative term. You've got to be in control of yourself. If you're not in control of yourself, you can't be in control of other people. And if you're not in control of other people who work for you, guess what? You're not in control of your business, right? So think about this. Delegation, time compression, and management, people management. Managing your people, managing the activities they're doing, holding them accountable. You've got to hold them accountable. You're paying their wages. You want to get the most out of them. You want to grow your people, okay? And it filters from the top downwards. So I hope you found this video um, helpful, and I'm sure you did. Now implement this. Remember, delete your apps, right? Delete them apps. Don't be a victim. Don't be addicted to like social media and all that kind of stuff. Don't let that control you. Don't let this little device, this hand cell phone, hand phone, your your iPhone or whatever it is, control you because it's got so much power. It's got it can produce you income. It can make you more money. It can get you up there, or it can also destroy you as well if you let it. If you let it, if you let it control you, if you're controlled by all the apps and the social media and all the social networking out there, the social networking can either make you or break you. Remember that. So I'll see you on the next video.